What's the difference between Mi 8 and Mi 17? The Mi 17 is an improved export version of the Mi 8 helicopter, fitted with more powerful engines and with some other minor improvements. The Mi 17 is basically an export designation. Russian military also uses the same helicopter, but it is known as the Mi 8M. Its Western reporting name is Hip H. The original Mi 8 was phenomenally successful. However it had problems flying in mountainous terrain due to lack of engine power. It was fitted with 1400 shop engines. An improved version was fitted with better Klimov TV3-117MT engines, developing 1874 shop each, to produce the Mi-17. As a result the Mi-17 has better high altitude and overall performance. It was an important feature for some of its export operators, such as India. New engines dramatically reduced fuel consumption. Furthermore the Mi-17 it can limp back home with one of the engines destroyer or damaged. In the event of failure another engine automatically increases its power to 2 195 shop. This allows to continue the flight. The major visible difference of the Mi-17 is a tail rotor. On the Mi-17 it was repositioned and is located on the left side, while the original Mi-8 a tail rotor is on the right side. The Mi-17 also has several other minor improvements, such as new rotor hub made of titanium alloy, different electric grid, and so on. The Mi-17 made its first flight in 1975 to 1976. Production commenced in 1977. During the same year a Russian Mi-8MT was introduced. The first export Mi-17 was delivered in 1981. This transport helicopter widely exported both for military and civil operators. The Mi-8 slash Mi-17 is in service with more than 70 air arms around the world. It is one of the most prolific utility helicopters ever built. The Mi-8MT and Mi-8MTV continue to form the backbone of the Russian Army Aviation's combat transport force. The Mi-17 is combat proven, rugged and dependable. This helicopter has a crew of three, including pilot, co-pilot and flight engineer. The Mi-17 can carry 24 passengers and even small vehicles. It has a 4,000 kg internal payload capacity. Alternatively it can carry underslung loads weighing up to 3,000 kg. The older versions of the Mi-17 have two clamshell rear doors, however newer versions have a single ramp-type door. The Mi-17 can be armed with window-mounted 7.62mm and 12.7mm trainable machine guns. There are dedicated armed versions of this helicopter, that can carry up to 1,500kg of weapons externally. These include various anti-tank or air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, as well as pods with 57mm and 80mm unguided rockets, or even a nose-mounted 20mm cannon. Newer version have a night attack capability. These are equipped with a night vision goggles compatible cockpit, forward looking infrared and laser rangefinder. In the Russian service these helicopters are often fitted with extra cockpit armor, IR jammers and chaff slash flare dispensers. There were numerous modifications of this helicopter, that fulfill a wide variety of specialized roles. Variants Mi-17, Russian military designation Mi-8MT, is a baseline transport version, without armament. Mi-17KF version was fitted with new avionics, including inertial navigation unit and GPS. Mi-17MD is an armed version, developed in 1995. It has braced pylons and can carry various anti-tank or air-to-air -air missiles, as well as pods with unoperated rockets. From 1996 this helicopter is fitted with a rear loading ramp. Eventually the Mi-17 evolved into Mi-17V-5. Mi-17N version was capable of night operation. It is fitted with a low-light TV, FLIR and some other systems in order to operate at night. Mi-17P, a passenger transport helicopter. Mi-17PG electronic warfare version. It is an export version of the Mi-8MTG. 
This helicopter was fitted with single H slash I band jamming system. Mi 17 Pi is another electronic warfare version. It is an export version of the Mi 8 MTI. This helicopter was fitted with a single D band jamming system. Mi 17 PP is yet another electronic warfare helicopter. It is an export version of the Mi 8 MTPB. It is fitted with Bison jamming system. Mi 17S is a VIP version. Mi 17TB is an assault transport version. It has braced pylons and can carry various anti tank or air to air missiles, as well as pods with unoperated rockets. Mi 17V3 is an export version of the Russian Mi 8 MTV 3. It has four hardpoints instead of six. However, the number of possible external stores actually increased from 8 to 24. Mi 17V5 is an export version of the Russian Mi 8 MTV 5. It has a loading ramp instead of the clamshell doors. It can be identified by a dolphin nose. This helicopter has internal payload capacity of 4,000 kilograms. First Mi 8 MTV 5 helicopters were delivered to the Russian Armed Forces in 2012. This variant is designated CH-178 by the Canadian forces. Mi-17 V-7 is fitted with VK-2500 engines and has clam shell doors. Mi-17Z Prirada is a Czechoslovakian electronic warfare version. It also had a communications intelligence and jamming capability. Mi-18 is a prototype with a fuselage extended by 0.9M. Also it had retractable landing gear. Two helicopters were built to this standard. These were used during the Soviet war in Afghanistan. Later both airframes were used for static pilot training. Mi-19 Airborne Command Post version for tank and motorized infantry commanders. Mi-19 R Airborne Command Post version for rocket artillery commanders. Mi-171, or Mi-17-1. It is an export version of the Mi-8 AMT. It is a high-altitude operations version, powered by Klimov TV 3-117 VM engines, rated at 2190 shop each. VK-2500 engines were proposed as an option. This helicopter was first publicly revealed in 1992. Mi-171A and A-1 are civilian passenger and cargo helicopters. Mi-171C is a Chinese license-produced variant. It has a weather radar and Doppler navigational radar. Also it comes with a ramp-type rear door. Mi-171E is an export version of the Mi-8 AMT. It is fitted with VK-2500-03 engines and is intended to operate in extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 58 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius. This version is in service with Iraq, and possibly some other countries. Mi-171M has a crew reduced from 3 to 2. Mi-171S has Western avionics, such as transceiver, GPS and standard NATO flight responder. Mi-171SH Assault Transport Helicopter. It is an export version of the Mi-8AMTSH. Its armament is derived from Mi-24 gunship and carries some armor. It made its first flight in 1996. This helicopter has been exported to some countries. Mi-171V, or Mi-17-1V. Armed transport version it is an export version of the Russian Mi-8 MTV-1. It is powered by Klimov TV-3-117 VM engines. Mi-171VA, or Mi-17-1VA, it is a flying hospital. Mi-172, or Mi-17-2. It is an export version of the Russian Mi-8 MTV-2. This helicopter has enhanced armor, updated systems, improved anti-torque rotor. It has internal payload capacity of 5,000 kg and can carry 30 troops instead of 24. External payload capacity is 4,000 kg. Mi-172 passenger version. Mi-38 is a new generation version. 
It made its maiden flight in 2003 and is currently in pre-production stage. It is a proposed replacement for the aging Mi-8 and Mi-17 helicopters. The Mi-38 is marketed for both military and civil applications.